what is up everybody we're back with another fsd beta video update we got the latest update 11.3.6 this is the new 2023 version that's just got pushed out to all the new fsd beta subscribers and owners let's go ahead and put on fsd beta I do have it on daytime mode because I wasn't sure how it would show up with the uh, nighttime mode. So but we are coming up to this first intersection and it is a doozy. So we do have a creep limit. That creep limit is way too far out in my experience. We are stopping, but we should never creep out this far. I've never seen anyone creep out. Still got one more car on the left. We are clear on the right, right after this one. Now we do have a car on our right. Doing really good merging into the middle. Well done. This is the second drive that I've done on this 11.3.6 and it's doing a lot better. I have to say, I had the 11.3.6 before when it was on the 22 branch, but this one definitely is doing a lot better. Slow out of the four-way. It definitely drives slow and cautious, that is for sure. And let me know what you think. Do you like seeing the map or do you like it on full screen? Does that matter to you? I do have it on set on 15% over the speed limit and it's also on assertive and I'm gonna go ahead and turn on minimal lane changes. I also did notice on the last drive I did that it wasn't doing the phantom blinkers around these curves as much, which was really good. And we are in the 2022 Tesla Model Y Performance. I have sold the Model 3 and hoping to get the Project Highland when it comes. It's either that or Cybertruck. I have a feeling Project Highland is going to come first and I'm going to be trading in this Model Y Performance for it, even though I'm seriously underwater on it. All right, we are stuck. Okay, I got to put on some throttle. We're at a blinking yellow. Off the throttle. So I did notice that it did the same thing when I was testing earlier on that blinking yellow light. It definitely wanted to stop. I had traffic behind, so I couldn't really see what it wanted to do. I'm so excited to get FSD beta back though. I really did miss it there. So yeah, we do have it in assertive, minimal lane changes. I thought there was a new setting where you can set minimal lane changes for every drive. Double check in the autopilot settings real quick. So I do have uh, the offset for autopilot set at 15%. Got that from Holmar's blog. He was talking about it on Twitter today and it actually worked perfect. I do wanna give a quick update to um, some of the range estimates, the efficiency test with the 18 inch wheels with the 50 series tires. Now, I've been averaging in the city anywhere from between about 270, 260, 270, 280 in the city. But as soon as I get on the highway, and you can see here at 770 miles, I'm averaging 300 watt hours per mile. Now the odd thing is it does feel more efficient on the smaller wheels and tires because I almost get the, the actual range that it shows versus like, you know, when you drive a long distance and you'll get there and it ate up maybe like 30 or 40 miles of range that was like this I actually get almost the stated range on these 18 inch wheels. So far I love it, it's so much more smoother. And speaking of smooth, it definitely merged into this lane super smooth. So we're just gonna be doing a quick beta test drive just to kind of get the feel for this 11.3.6. I know they have the 2023 version of, uh, what is it? have to pull up my Teslify app, but 2023.7.5, which is 11.4.1. I have a feeling they're gonna be releasing that 11.4.2 release very soon here. 
everyone thought that's what we were going to be getting on this release and then they surprised us with this 2023 build which does give you that left press button to add some custom changes oh i had to it was kind of heading right towards them i had to take over there i'm sure it would have been fine but it was kind of a little bit close what's funny is the guy turning left didn't even notice the car behind me definitely noticed all right, we're coming up to a stop sign here. It is kind of a construction stop sign, so let's see how it does turn in right. We're kind of in the uh, bicycle lane, which isn't going to work, but you can see the cones here on screen. Looks like we're going to navigate around those, but normally that would be a perfect way to, oh my goodness, it is kind of cocked out, and we are turning right. Oh, are we turning? We got it. Oh my god, I'm gonna put some throttle. Okay, it didn't do too great there. A lot of construction. Now it's speeding up quick. Losing the lane, lane, lines in the lane. We're kind of hugging the turn. We need to get over to the left more. We're kind of in the dirt. All right, so we were definitely in the bike lane. I'm gonna go ahead and flip it around and let's head on back. All right, we've got it flipped back around. Got road work ahead. Oh, I was close to that sign. A lot of construction and we're coming in hot. Let's see how it does right through these cones. We're gonna be taking a left at this stop sign. We got a blinking red light. We got stop signs, construction. And it looks like they're, oops. I was gonna let them go. Let's go ahead and kick it back on. I'm gonna give it some accelerator, off the accelerator. Kind of did a little hop, skip, and a jump there. I think it actually was about to go as that car went, so it's kind of tricky there. We're going to be going straight through this light, doing five over the speed limit, just turned yellow. Now, while we're here, I do want to read some comments from some of the last videos. Uh, CW Trooper says, nice video. I went with the 18-inch wheels for my 21 Model Y Performance. He asked, what tire pressure do I recommend? I personally like it as high as I can go. I like to run it at 50 PSI, but that's a little bit high. He also says he likes a square configuration, but he left it at the 21-inch wheel setting. That's exactly what I did, too. So if I go into uh, service here, you can do the different wheel and tire upgrades, and you can change it from 1920s or 21s. Uh, J-Man said would like to know the answer as well. So um, 42 PSI is pretty good, but I like to run it high. I like that efficiency. Now J-Man also says hoping for a follow-up video to the range efficiency. So I was just going, just a minute ago I had 8 miles and it was at 270. So it's very volatile at the low mileage. But I've been averaging 302 watt hours per mile. I feel though that it's doing better than that. Because like say I start with 250 range and I drive 30 miles. I, when I get back it has close to only using 30 miles. So it's very, it's more true to the actual efficiency on the number there. If that makes sense. Uh, Gary says, where did I buy the roof glass sun visor? So I got them off Amazon. There's a couple different ways you can do it. Buy them on Amazon meaning, but get the one with the foil. It's gonna keep all the light out. All right, let's get back on it. Loving this FSD beta. This new version's doing really good. Makes it fun to drive when the car can just drive itself, I tell you. So this, now that it's on the uh, 12 branch, let's pull that up real quick. So now that it's on the uh, 12.10, that means anyone that's below 12.10 right now can subscribe, and you'll you'll get you'll be you'll download the beta probably within an hour or two, maybe even sooner. So definitely, if you want to subscribe to FSD Beta. Do it now before the versions go above this rollout because as long as this one's above all the other versions, you'll get upgraded to this version immediately. And with that being said, if you guys want to use my referral link, they just put out the referral link again for uh, Model 3s, Model Ys, all the Tesla products pretty much. And if you use my referral link, you'll get some points, I'll get some points, and I'm always here to help answer any questions as well. So it's like you're kind of making a new friend. I'm gonna put that referral link on the on the screen. It'd be so awesome if you uh, used it. I never did it back in the, in the day. All right, we do have a green light here. No stopping, just perfect rolling through. 
Now, one time in the past, it did try to jump into this lane, but it looks like so far so good. Wow, I'm pretty impressed. All right, we need to stay in this left lane. Doing a great job. Run a little wide through that lane. But yeah, if you want to use my referral code, definitely would love to answer any questions, walk you through the whole process. With the new referral links now, you can use those points to get uh, free S FSD subscriptions, get merch. It is doing amazing on these turns. It feels so natural. Like the smoothness, the smoothness, the way it's turning, it just feels like it's much more refined. Definitely the best beta build that I've driven so far. It's doing the best I've ever seen here in Vegas. So in your neck of the woods, it's probably doing great. Nice smooth transition right here. And we're gonna be going to the WOW car wash because I love going through the wild car wash. Does a great job washing, the dry isn't so great. So it looks like we're gonna be getting into this merged left lane. We're kind of slowing down pretty good here. And it did pull in there good. I'm gonna give it some accelerator. Oh, that's it, I'm gonna take over. All right, everybody, we're in the wild car wash. I don't know what I would not I don't know what I would do if I didn't have a, a car wash to go through all the time, I tell you. This gray Model Y is holding up great too when it comes to uh, scratches through the car wash. This car wash actually does a really good job at not scratching it too much. But the gray definitely is better than the black. guys that's gonna wrap it up for another FSD beta video 11.3.6 it's performing amazing Wow and this is the 2022 Tesla Model Y performance it's got the 18 inch T sport line wheels on it and we will see you on the next one have a great day